Welcome to the Data Cloud video series brought to you by Salesforce. My name's Simon Connock. I'm a Data Cloud instructor here at Salesforce. In this video, we will learn about data actions and how they help you act on your streaming data and insights. Data actions drive events using streaming insights. Data action targets are the destinations where the result of a data action can be triggered. Supported targets include webhooks, an event-driven API target, kind of like an endpoint. Salesforce platform events, using the core event bus used to trigger flow applications. Marketing Cloud, to send an email or journey builder API event. Let's take a look at how to create a data action. This data action looks for customers who have entered a store by entering a defined geofence. The target for the action will be a Salesforce platform event, where the customer's entry into the store can trigger, for example, the creation of a Salesforce task, lead, or case. Here, we will only send the event to the platform event bus. Data actions use data model objects and calculated insights as inputs. Here, we will demonstrate the end-to-end -end flow from ingestion to acting on data using data actions. We will create a mobile app connector, map this source, create a streaming insight, and utilize that in our data actions. If you are already familiar with ingestion and creating insights, you can skip to creating data actions. We'll start by setting up a data stream. First, navigate to Data Cloud Setup. The Setup window opens in a new tab. On the left-hand side, select Website and Mobile Apps. We'll create a new connector with the following settings. Set the connector name to Mock Mobile App, and the connector type to Mobile App. Select Save. We're basically going to fake a mobile application here. Then upload your schema file. We'll use a predefined file named realtimeschema.json. Select Save. From there, navigate to the Data Cloud application, find the Data Streams tab, and then select New. For the data stream source, choose Mobile App, and then select Next. Under Mobile App, we'll choose a mobile app, then use the checkbox to select the mobile engagement event. Click Next. Review the fields. Note that unlike other data streams, you aren't given the option to choose what fields to configure. Um, this is really driven by that JSON schema we uploaded earlier. We can't update field names or create formula fields. Select Next, and then select Deploy. Now let's map the data stream. Select that Start button on the right-hand side, and then select Select Objects. Select the Custom Data Model tab, and select the plus sign New Custom Object. We're going to create a new custom DMO to map to. Set the object label to real-time mobile events. Make sure that the object API name is populated appropriately. It should be real underscore time underscore mobile underscore events, as it will be used later in the query. Click Save. For simplicity, we'll keep all of the fields. Data Cloud will automatically map those fields for us. And you're done. Select Save and Close. Now let's keep going and set up a streaming insight. Navigate to the Calculated Insights tab. Select New. Select Create Streaming Insights. Validate that the data space is selected as the default. Select Next and create a streaming insight. Now we'll navigate to one of our directories and open a sample SQL file. We'll copy the text from that file and paste it into the SQL query text box. So you'll see the query on your screen. Select the check syntax to ensure everything is good and the syntax is correct. For the name, we'll put Geofence Stream. Select Save and Run to activate the streaming insight. We want to create a data action, but before we do that, we need to create a data action target. Navigate to the Data Action Targets tab and click New. 
The action target name is Salesforce Platform Event, and the action target type is the same thing, Salesforce Platform Event. The selected Salesforce org is just RAV group. Select Save. Now we can create the data action. Navigate to the Data Actions tab. Select New to create a new data action, and select the data action target you just created. Select Next. Select the following data action configuration. The data space needs to be set to default. The object type is Calculated Insights. The primary object is GeoFence Stream. And the related object is Unified Individual. Select Next. Now add related attributes to the data action. Select the following attributes. First name, last name, Unified Individual ID. Then select Next. Configure the event and action rules as follows. Select the following event rules, record created and record updated, by just checking the boxes next to those names. For action rules, select All conditions are met and then select Add Condition and set the following condition. The object's name is GeoFence Stream. The attribute is GeoFence Event, all one word. The operator is is equal to, and the value is entered, just the word entered in lowercase. And then select Next. We're almost done. Let's give your action a name. We'll call it Customer Entering Store and the API name should self-populate. Select Save, and then Publish. Note that apart from attributes selected in the previous step, five other attributes will be included. These attributes include End, Start, Customer ID, Enter GeoFence, and GeoFence Event. In creating data actions, you're now able to automate and streamline processes maintain data integrity, customize workflows, and scale your data management efforts as your organization grows. To learn more, be sure to check out our other videos. You can also search for topics in Salesforce Help or come join us on the trail at trailhead.salesforce.com. Thanks for watching.